Welcome back, Tigers. In this video, we're going to learn how to force a browser refresh after a user completes an action invoked through Einstein Next Best Action. You may have users that are getting confused when they complete an action because their updates are not reflected on the record until after they manually refresh their browser. We're going to show you how to force a browser refresh using a Lightning Aura component, a solution that we found on Trailhead thanks to a trailblazer named Zen Lu. Let's hop over to Salesforce and see how to configure our flows to automatically refresh the browser. Okay, our first step here is to create a Lightning Aura component. Don't worry, Zen Liu gave us the exact code that we're going to use. Now, some of you may be wondering why we're not using the Navigate Anywhere component from Unofficial SF. Uh, that is because that component doesn't work in all scenarios. Zen Liu gave us this solution because his scenario was a digital experience was not working to automatically refresh the browser in his recommendations in Einstein Next Best Action. So we're going to set up the same thing here. We're going to go into developer console. And then we'll click file, new, and then lightning component. We're going to call this automatic browser refresh. So this is for flow, click submit. And then we've got two snippets of code that we're gonna to give to you that you're gonna copy and paste in here. So the first one is gonna go into this component screen. So you'll just remove what's there and paste in the code snippet. Then you'll click on controller. When that's highlighted orange, then you are ready to copy and paste this second code snippet. We will remove what is currently in there, paste it in there, and then we're going to do a file and save all. You will see it say saving, and when that is done saving, then you can close out the developer console. Our next step is to go to all of the flows that we want to force a browser refresh for. So we have three different flows that are screen flows that we are using in our Einstein Next Best Action recommendations that are the predefined recommendations. Those are the three flows right here, request final quote, approve decline pricing, and request pricing approval. So we're gonna open up one of them. And then at the end of our flow, you're going to add an action and you're gonna search for that new component you just created. And here it is, automatic browser refresh flow. And we'll call this refresh browser, click done. And then you may want to come to your last success screen and change the name of the button here because it's going to no longer say finish since that's not the last thing in the flow anymore, it's gonna say next. So you can make it say finish or go to opportunity, whatever you want. We will do a save as here, a save, and then click activate. Okay, and now we're ready to test this out. We are gonna go to an opportunity and we're gonna make sure that we're on an opportunity that is invoking the flow. So we updated the request pricing approval flow and that is what is driving this action right here in our next best action. So if we click request pricing approval, It says our sales manager has been notified. There's our go to opportunity custom button. And now we should see the page automatically refresh. And then our stage is automatically changed. Without that force browser refresh, the stage stays on what it was before the user invoked the action and they're confused and they don't know whether or not the action actually completed the task that they were trying to do. 
That's it, pretty simple. Now, when you're looking to deploy this to production, because since this is code, you need to create it in a sandbox. When you deploy it, you go to the change set and you add it as an Aura component. So in your change set, the type will be called Aura component. You should find it there. All right, nice job. That's it, that's a wrap. Be sure to subscribe to Blue Tiger Academy so you don't miss out on the video we are working on that will show you how to configure the screen flows we used in our recommendations in the Einstein Next Best Action series. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you'd like to see a video on a different Salesforce topic. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.